Uh, a moth goes into a podiatrist's office. A moth goes into a podiatrist's office. Right. You are correct. <laughs> a moth goes into a podiatrist's office, and uh, the podiatrist's office says, what's the problem? And the moth says, what's the problem? Where do I begin, man? He goes, I go to work for uh, Gregory Olinovich, and uh, all day long I work. Honestly, Doc, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know if Gregory Olinovich knows. He only knows that he has power over me. And that seems to bring him happiness. But I don't know. I wake up in a malaise and I, I walk here and there. And the podiatrist says, oh, yeah? And the moth goes, yes. And he goes, uh, at night I, I sometimes wake up and I turn to some old lady in my bed that's on my arm. A lady that I once loved, Doc. I don't know where to turn to. My youngest, Alexandria. She, she fell in the, in, the, in the cold of last year. The cold took her down as it did many of us. And my other boy. And this is the hardest pill to swallow, Doc. My other boy. Gregario <laughs> Ivanovich. I no longer love him. As much as it pains me to say, when I look in his eyes, all I see is the same cowardice that I that I catch when I take a glimpse of my own face in the mirror. If only the cowardice was stronger, then perhaps. Perhaps I could bring myself to reach over to that cocked and loaded gun that lays on the bedside behind me. And in this hellish facade once How long a drive off, was this? <laughs> do you live in the valley? Where do you live? Please, sorry. He says, Doc. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a spider, even though I'm a moth. Just barely hanging on to my web with an everlasting fire underneath me. I'm not feeling good. And so the moth, the, the doctor says, Moth, man, you're trouble. But you should be seeing a psychiatrist. Why on earth did you come here? And then the moth said, Because the light was on. 